Talkside presents Talkside. Welcome to Talkside. Good afternoon. I'm Papa Smith, and today we'll have a talk about air pressure with two famous married scientists from Stanford University. They are Mr. Angela Perez and Mrs. Trisha Martinez Perez. Good afternoon, Papa. Your intro was so exaggerated. I know, right? But the question is, do you feel any pressure right now? No, I don't feel any pressure right now. Ooh, confident! Particularly Papi Pa, you always feel pressure. It's everywhere. So, what is air pressure? Well, air pressure is so important. Atmospheric pressure is the weight of the atmosphere pressing down the Earth. Um, a barometer is a device used to measure air pressure, and it is called millibars. But actually, I brought a barometer right now. Got you, fam. So, this is a barometer, a device used to measure air pressures. Oh! First question Does more air mean more air pressure? Of course. We also have areas containing different amounts of air pressure. The low pressure areas and the high pressure areas. In low pressure areas. Uh, low pressure areas have few or warm air, and when they flow towards areas, air rises from the ground, which causes storms. On the other hand, we have the high pressure areas. High pressure areas are areas which contain cooler or drier air, so they flow towards warmer areas. Cool air from high pressure areas flows down to the ground, and we experience good weather. Very interesting information. <clears throat> Another question. What are the factors that affect air pressure? Good question. We have at least two factors affecting air pressure. Altitude and temperature. The higher the altitude, the lower the air pressure. And the lower the altitude, the higher the air pressure. In temperature, if we have hot air, like we, Where? the air molecules will move faster. So we will have less density and less air pressure. The same works for cold air, only the air molecules move slower, so we have more density and more air pressure. Thanks for the info, but why am I not getting crushed by air pressure right now? The answer is just simple. The body tries to equalize the pressure inside its cavities with the fast change in atmospheric pressure. Although the skin can adjust to changes in air pressure easily, the body cavities like the lungs, ears, and sinuses do not adjust automatically. This is why the popping in the ears occur when flying in a plane where air pressure is lower. Plus, headaches and joint pains are common in low pressure areas. I heard that you will be demonstrating an experiment today. Why yes, our experiment today is called the water glass experiment. So we need a top filled with one third of water and a cardboard. Cover the mouth of the cardboard, I of the cup with cardboard, then turn it upside down on someone's head. See, it works. This is because the water inside the cup is lighter than the air outside. The card is held in place by 14.7 pounds of force from the air pushing up. And the, and the force of the water um, pushing down is only about one pound of force. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Oh, okay. So thank you for having your time with us. And thank you for watching Talkside. Buti pang air pressure, di ako iniiwan.